Divas, welcome to this week's Monday Motivation. My name is Coach Wanda, and today I'll be talking about believing yourself. Ladies, we must believe in ourselves to accomplish any goal and dream that we set forth for ourselves. I love the scripture, Philippians 4.13, which states, I can do all things through Christ. But it's the second part of that that people don't really, really say. It's, yes, it does. It says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That means God has given us the power to overcome anything in our lives. So we should, we must, we have to believe in ourselves. Because if we believe in ourselves, anything is possible. This um, quote right here is perfect. It says, look in the mirror and that's your competition. Ladies, we're competing with ourself. We are our biggest competition. And we can overcome us if we believe. Believe that you have the strength to do it. Believe that you have the ability to do it. Believe that you can just do it. Now I know for years we have been in unbelief of ourselves. So you ask me, Coach Wanda, how do I believe in myself? Well, ladies, this is what you need to do. First, you need to push past your comfort zone. We all know our comfort zones. It could be a past hurt. It could be um, a failing marriage. It could be our kids are out of control. It could be that I just don't have any self-esteem. It could be any a number of those things. But we need to push past all of those things. Come out of that comfort zone. And once we're out of that comfort zone, ladies, we need to put ourselves out there and try something new. So if that recipe calls for asparagus or Brussels sprouts and you're like, oh, I will never eat those, try it. You never know what you would like unless you try it. And ladies, you won't, you don't believe the things that your taste buds starts to like once you start this journey. And the next thing you need to do is stick to it. It's so many times I know that if you, if you're anything like me, you've tried every diet out there. But let's try something and stick to it. Let's start it from the start, stick to it from the beginning and see it out to the end. And stop listening to that negative self-talk that normally holds you back. Because that's the only thing that's holding you from sticking to it. It's you talking yourself right out of it. And then learn to trust yourself. You're stronger than you believe. Things that you, can, that you didn't think you could do, you could do now. Like I can now do a man's push-up. I never ever thought I'd be able to do that. But I started trusting in myself. I started trusting in every day that I was going to get stronger. And now I can do a man's push-up. I can't do too many, but I can still do one. And then believe that you are capable to withstand the discomfort of change. Change for anybody in any circumstances does not feel well. But you have to withstand it. Just because it doesn't feel good, don't give up. That's when you push even harder because that means change is happening. So once you get in that box and like, okay, this is getting too hard, that's, that's the point that you need to keep on pushing. And then believe in yourself that you can do it. Now, my man, T.D. Jakes, he puts it plain and clear on the reasons why we should believe in ourselves. So, ladies, listen to this awesome four-minute video. It would definitely bless your life. I want to talk to you about believe, what you believe, what you believe, what you believe about your God, but also what you believe about yourself. Belief is a very important thing. It's not just a matter of denomination. It's not just a, a matter of being a part of a group or a tribe or a clique or a cult. Belief has all to do with your philosophy that you live by, your vision, your purpose, your goals. 
I know you're weak. I know you made mistakes. I know you've erred along the way. But if you believe me, it is counted unto you as righteousness. The enemy does everything he can to tear down your belief system. You're able to do anything but fail. If you know who you are, then you know who you are not. If you don't know who you are, somebody can ascribe any identity onto you and you will morph into whatever they want you to be. And that's what has happened with a whole lot of us. Some of us have been 10 or 12 different people depending upon who we were with because we don't know who we are. We become whoever they want us to be. And then when they leave us, we are confused because we have no real understanding. If you open up a company, one of the things you have is vision, purpose, and goals. And you write them down so all of your staff and all of your team and all your customers can know, this is who I am. I am defined by my vision, my purpose, and my goals. That's my playbook. That's my creed. That's what I believe as a company, as an institution. can do all things. Somebody say, I can do all things. Say it again, I can do all things. Wouldn't it be amazing if you believe that? Wouldn't you sleep good tonight if you believe that? Wouldn't you walk around with your head up and your back straight if you believe that? Say it again, I can do all things. You wouldn't be intimidated by anybody, anywhere, at any time if you just believe that. Say it again, I can do all things. Can you imagine how different your job interview would go if you really believed that and walked in? They said, what do you do? I can do. Imagine if you were taught that from the time you were born into the world. The first thing your mama told you when they spiked you on the behind is don't worry about it, baby. You can do all things. I want you to understand that the predicament that you are in right now does not define your destiny. Every time something whispers in your ear and says you can't make it through this, you can't take this, you're going to have a nervous breakdown, you're going to lose your mind, you're going to die like your mama did, you're going to get sick like your daddy did, you got to talk back to those voices and say, hey! Sickness is a liar. Failure is a liar. Depression is a liar. Suicide is a liar. Despair is a liar. Spirits of heaven is a liar. Disease, you're a liar. Can't learn, you're a liar. Can't read, you're a liar. Can't make it, you're a liar. Can't take it, you're a, you are to call out every liar. So ladies, I have one question to ask you. Are you ready to believe in yourself? Ladies, we can do this.